Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over our brand new monthly planner that we just released last week. I wanted to show you kind of what it's about, how it works, everything that's included, so you can get an idea of how this would work for you before you buy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the planner. And then after I go through the planner, I'll show you the sticker kits that are included because there are three different sticker kits that come with this planner kit and they are different every single month. This is just the planner for November um, that was released last week, but each month will be a little bit different with different designs and um, different pages. And I'll kind of go over what you can expect from each month as we walk through the planner. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first page of the planner. You get this dashboard page. It in you can kind of see the cute design of the planner. And then this content paper here has links to every single page within the planner for quick reference. And you also have three customizable links here that I'll kind of show you as we go through where you can put in your own pages and make your own links to these pages here. Um, then you also have links to the to-dos and to notes that are just generalized to-do lists and blank notes pages that you can use um, for whatever you need. So those link there and then this, if you click on this, it will actually open the planner and you can jump right in. So um, the first page of the planner is a note from the editor, which is me, and it will go over why I picked this month's theme. Each month will have a specific theme that is designed to help you with um, self-improvement, living a more um, fulfilled and intentional life. Each month has different thing that we work on and the pages are customized for whatever that theme is. And there's a few different pages throughout that kind of help you with action steps, journaling, um, and different things that you can do to improve that area of your life. So for November, the focus is gratitude. And this just kind of goes over why we picked gratitude, why we think it's important and what we think it can do for you. So, and then you'll have just this cute little quote page. Um, and then this whole section here teaches you a little bit about why gratitude is important and things that you can do to improve that in your day to day life. Um, you don't have to read this part if you don't want to, but I think these are filled with such helpful, with so much helpful information um, to make your life a little bit more fulfilled. Um, and then the next page, and this will change with each with each month. Um, this is just the one for no November month. Uh, the next page we have is the month at a glance, or sorry, the year at a glance page. This is for 2019. Um, you can see the tabs over here along the top and on this side. The gold is what you have selected um, and it might change from gold to silver or different colors, how, how, whatever, but this it shows which one is selected for the month. These are the three customized tabs that I showed you in the beginning where you can put in your own links to those pages and, um, and then the rest of the planner pages are all linked here. Um, so this is the month at a, or the year at a glance page just kind of goes over so you can quickly see how the year is laid out. This is the future log. I had already kind of played with this. So um, let me erase that. Um, this is where you can put in whatever you need to remember for the following year or the rest of the year, the next eight months of the year, I guess. Um, basically, I just like to use it and list it out like you kind of saw before. I'll make like a checkbox and I'll put in like birthday, whatever I need to remember as I work through because you only have a month planner so you can only schedule for so far. This allows you to put in the things you need to remember so you can transfer it to each month easily. You can even just copy and paste it um, over to the next month if you're using GoodNotes. Um, so this is how you keep track of that. The next page is the month overview page. This is essentially um, just a spot for you to schedule out big things for your month. I know some people like to use it to keep track of bills or birthdays, whatever. Um, I left two boxes that are kind of generalized, important to and remember, so you can kind of use those however you want. You can even replace the headers if you wanted to. Um, the next month or the next page is um, there is a poem on this page and then you have September reflection. This poem will be changed depending on it kind of goes with the theme. Um, and then the September reflection 
Um, you have progress I'm celebrating, a lesson I learned, someone I'm grateful for and why, goals that are going well, what I want to focus on in November, and favorite memories from September. This is just to give you an idea of how your last month went, things you might want to work so focus on or change as you move forward. It's to help you grow as you go along um, and work towards your goals and the life that you want to actually live. Um, and so... Leading up to that, the next page is life evaluation. This is a spot to think about the different aspects of your life. You have work, health, significant other, family, friends, finances, spiritual and personal growth, and hobbies and recreation. This is a spot for you to write down, you know, what you want to change, where you feel like you're at. You can use the scale to rate, you know, what part do you feel like this is going well? You rated a 10. Do you feel like you really need to work on it? You rate it on a one or two. Um, and then you can kind of come up with some ideas or some things that you want to be different about. Um, in the next month. And then this is goals for the year. I have it separated into four sections. You don't have to use it that way. Um, but I think this is a fun way to use it. You have relationships, personal work, and gratitude. This will change with each theme. So you can kind of come up with some goals specifically related to whatever that month's theme is, if you'd like, and put them here. This is just a place to write down whatever you want. It can be goals for the year. It can be goals for just this month. However you want to use it. It's just kind of a brainstorming space. Then um, the way I like to use this page, you have a section for five different goals. I like to break down, pick a few things from here and break down what I want to work on in November specifically. And I don't always have five goals. Sometimes I only have one or two, but then I might put, if there's some other things I really want to focus on, but I want to focus on them a little bit later, um, I will schedule them out here so that then when I go into my December month plan, I can kind of see what I'm working towards and this will change. It just shows you the next six months. Um, so you can schedule out your goals a little bit and kind of break them up into smaller chunks so that it's not so overwhelming and you're not trying to do everything all in one month. This is one of the pages that will be different for each planner, but, um, for this planner, we have a gratitude log. The way this works is you would fill out each day on the 1st of November, I would go into this box and I would write down something I'm grateful for. And that page that I showed you in the beginning kind of goes through how to use this a little bit um, and what you would want to write here and some prompts and ideas. Um, and this is just a way to keep track of and grow that aspect of your life. So this is kind of just a fun little page. And then um, here we have the coloring page. This is a hand-drawn coloring page. You can go in. I like to use the highlighter. If you're using good notes, when I color, I use the highlighter. Um, and I will just sit and color this in. When I'm bored, I'm waiting in the doctor's office, whatever. It's kind of relaxing and calming. Um, but yeah, you can color this in however you want, or you can just leave it to look at it. Um, and then the sleep log, the way this works is you fill this out to keep track of your sleep. Um, keeping track of your sleep helps you um, focus on how much it's impacting your life. Because we all have a tendency to want to stay awake longer to get more things done. Um, and so this helps you keep track of how much sleep you're getting. And then you can even relate that to your mood tracker over here. So if you feel like there's a section of time where like a week you don't get very much sleep, you can kind of go over here and see how much that's impacting your mood. Um, and the way, if you haven't seen one of these before, the way it works is this is the day. So this would be the first of November. These are the hours. So I have it set up so that the time you would sleep would be like in the middle. So say last night I slept seven to, uh, that wouldn't be normal. So let's do 10 to seven. Um, you would fill in like right here I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, but you would fill in seven to 10 like that. Um, and then the next day say was, or 10 to seven, sorry. And say the next day you slept from nine to five, you would fill it in like this. And you're just filling in the boxes each week. Um, so that you can kind of get an idea of how much sleep you're getting throughout the month. And I'm going to erase this before I forget. Um, and so then the next page I kind of showed you a little bit already, you have your habit trackers, which this, this little line up here is where you would write in what you're tracking. And then as you do it, you can just leave little thoughts. You can color them in however you want, cross them off. So you can remember what days you did. Um, then the mood tracker, the way this works is you would fill in like down here, you'd pick some colors for sad and maybe like a different color for productive. And then as the day goes on, 
or as the month goes on, each day you go in and fill out, say on the first I felt really productive, I would color this leaf in the yellow for productive. And then you can kind of see how you felt for the whole month. It's kind of a fun way to keep track of how the month's going and it fills out this really pretty picture in the end. Um, this page is a November bucket list. This is just an empty space for you to put down the things you want to do for that month. There's going to be one in every single month. If you don't have ideas, we include a sticker in this kit that has this filled out already um, with things, kind of seasonal things that are fun to do for that month. Um, and then you have your November to do's, which is just a master to do list for the whole month. Um, the next page you start into your actual weekly layouts. Each month will have a different weekly layout. They're inspired by um, bullet journal spreads that we see. Um, we kind of pull some of our favorite spreads and design off of that, but we want it to be open and flexible. So we don't put any decorative elements in here at all. Um, so that you can decorate it how you want. You can even change out the headers if you want. Use the upper section. I like to use this section for washi, but you can also use this to you track, you know, do habit trackers, whatever. Um, you have a little habit tracker right here um, that's kind of sideways, so you would write down what you're tracking and then you could fill it out there. Um, but you can use this for other things as well. You have to-dos, reminders, notes, and next week um, as the headers for this. And then you have just your monthly layout and stuff over here. Um, you'll also get each, with each kit, you'll get a sticker version of this that you can use like an insert in a different planner if you'd like or in following month planners. So if there was a month that you don't like the layout for the weekly, if it just doesn't work for you, the weekly layout doesn't work for you, you can use one from the past. Or they'll also be available to purchase on our website or in our Etsy store. Um, so if you don't like that month and you want something different, you can go ahead and get something different there. Um, but this is the one for November. So each week comes with three pages, um, but you can expand it if you want. Uh, the next page is the dinner menu and shopping list. You can fill this out. Um, it's dinner menu, but it should say, it should really say like meal planner because it's all the meals really. Um, and then you have your shopping list and you can switch out these headers if you'd like. Uh, I like to just sort of screenshot this over to my phone and then take it with me on the go. I find that the easiest way to keep track of that. And then you have just a blank notes page where you can put in whatever you want. You can use this as a journaling page. I know some people like to use it as a, um, like a memory planner kind of page. They keep track of their plans in these one, in this one, but then on this page they put in, sorry, it's taking a minute to load. They put in like uh, photos and pictures of what they did that week and kind of write out everything. Um, so you have one of those for all five weeks and the five weeks are all tabbed right here. I'm actually gonna go back to the dashboard so I can show you this. So um, at the end of the planner, you have your notes, which you can click, click through the dashboard or you can scroll through if you really want but the notes is just essentially the same thing that you had um, at the back of each week you have blank notes that you can use however you want and you can copy and paste this page as many times as you want to use it and then you also have the to do's which is basically just a blank to do list that again you can copy and paste as many times as you want so you can reuse it I even left a space up here so you can title these if you need to. Like you say you're working on your backyard, you can write down backyard to-dos or whatever your project is for that month. Um, and then you have your three customizable tabs up here that take you to just essentially a blank page, a blank bullet journal page. You can use this however you want. We, help, uh, we will have different ideas and templates for different things like um, budget trackers or school trackers um, on our website in the near future um, but for right now you can use it however you want um, and that's it for the planner so um, the other things you get with this is you get three sticker kits um, all of our sets come with the planner then you get the three sticker kit good notes files if you use good notes but you'll also get a, the three sticker kits in a um, PNG format as well. So if you would, if you're the kind of person that would prefer to use a different app, or you like to drag and drop your stickers in, um, you can use the PNG files instead. But for
paper. Now I'm going to show you the good notes version. Um, so the first sticker kit you're going to get is our just traditional sticker kit. Um, we have a bunch of versions of this on our website, but you do get the coordinating one with the planner. So um, the one that you get with this is the pumpkin patch cutie. Um, I don't know why this sticker is missing. I must have done something weird with it while I was playing with it. Um, but it's not missing in the, the original file. Uh, so you'll get nine deco boxes, a bunch of checklists, and uh, you have these are one third boxes, one fourth and one fifth boxes. You have menu boxes, scallop headers, washi tape, pretty much all kinds of stuff that you would want to use in a planner, a little bit of deco and some headers. Um, this sticker kit is more designed for like vertical spreads, but I still love using a lot of the elements when I'm using like a more um, bullet journal type layout. Let me pull it up so you can kind of see. I mostly use the stickers on these pa on the weekly pages, but you can use them wherever. Um, so for this uh, spread, I'd be more likely to use the other sticker kit. Um, you get the bullet journal sticker kit, sticker kit as well, which has a little bit smaller boxes with a couple. These ones are a little bit longer, double side sized ones. Um, you get bill due, work tags, um, a bunch of paper clips, some little notes. Um, you get some different header or date. What would they be called? Date dots or something like that. Um, that match. You can cover these up if you don't like the black. Um, headers. These are fun because they are, you can put your own picture inside of them. They're transparent in the middle. So you can put your picture down and then put this on top. Um, to remember something if you'd like. You have a couple to-do lists, some more washi. These are just background like almost like background papers um, that you can use. They're sized for this section right here, but you can use them however you want. Just crop them down. And then you have our functional stickers that coordinate with the set. So you have movie night, target run, date night, cleaning day, hello Monday, laundry day. I tried to think of everything I could possibly think of that you would typically need to use in a planner or have going on. So that is the bullet journal set. And then the last one that you get is the exclusive stickers. So the other two sticker kits are available on our Etsy store separately. And we have a bunch of different designs in those sets. Those are like our standard sets that we offer. The exclusive stickers are only available in the, in the planners and they're specific for the planner. So you can't get them outside of it. Um, and you can't, uh, get them. If you missed that planner, then you, then you missed these stickers. So you get a bunch of um, additional deco that goes along with the kit and then you'll get this is the um, bucket list insert or the bucket list um, activities that you can just copy and paste over to your planner and then you also have some headers like november header you have a box for the no month of november dates um, the week headers and then a couple of additional um, tags to put in if you want to replace these. So that's everything that you get. And then you'll also get the sticker for this actual layout, if that makes sense. You'll get one for each side. So if you want to use this in a different planner or in, you want to use this in a different month planner, you like this layout, you can do that. You always will have that, that layout available to you. Um, so that is our sticker kits and, um, or sorry, that is our planner kits. These are our monthly planner kits. You get a new one each month. So this is only for November. It comes with the three sticker kits. So you get a lot of value. You can use this for the entire month instead of spending, you know, $5 a sticker kit for each week. This is a little bit more economical that way if you want to do it that way. Plus, um, you get this cute planner with a ton of different fun things to do. So, um, let us know what you think. We would love to hear your feedback. We're really excited about this new planner. You can purchase it in our Etsy store through the month of November and the new one for December will be coming out on the 20th of December. Each planner will come out on the 20th of each month. So you can always look forward to that. And yeah, I will see you guys soon with a plan with me video that I'm doing in for um, this week in this planner. So yeah, see you soon. Thanks, guys.